The call for more traffic control came in late Monday afternoon. Car after car streamed into the parking lot at the La Follette Church of God as hundreds and hundreds came to celebrate and say goodbye to Caitlin Norman. Caitlin lost her two-year-long battle to cancer last Friday, and in the process, she brought a community together. Interment was this morning at Baker's Forge Cemetery. Campbell County Mayor William Baird submitted a statement to WLAF Today regarding the YouTube video that everyone is seeing concerning the Adrian W. Baird Animal Center. Mayor Baird says it's full of inaccurate information and pictures from four years ago. Our animal shelter is in compliance with all state guidelines. The state of Tennessee just completed the yearly inspection of the animal center with no findings. Mayor Baird goes on to say, if anyone wishes to see the report, it is available at the animal shelter. All is done according to regulations. The animals are all in kennels with heated floors and beds. The animals receive proper feeding and care. The Animal Center works with the area rescues to rescue as many animals as possible. We have instituted an active volunteer program at the shelter. We have an active advisory board that monitors the policies of the shelter. Campbell County Animal Center has properly trained and certified staff and we will continue to monitor our progress. Anyone who has concerns may visit the Adrian W. Baird Animal Center. The medical director and founder of the Knoxville Comprehensive Breast Center is coming to Campbell County. Dr. Camilla Kozlowski will speak on April the 11th at the La Follette Methodist Church. Breast cancer survivor Sheila Falls has more details. She is um, working on passing a bill through the House of Representatives that has already went to the committee floor and that's concerning the Breast Mammography Density Information Act. And what that entails is women that are diagnosed with dense breast tissue, um, there's a large percentage of cancer that is not being detected with just a mammogram. So what the bill will entail is that a letter is sent out once a, a lady is found with dense breast tissue to tell her that additional testing can be done. Now that law has not been passed but in four states and so we're trying to get the bill passed in Tennessee and that is one of the things that is really dear to my heart because that is what has happened to me. Um, I was diagnosed three years in a row with just, just dense breast tissue. And so further testing was not done. I was not asked to, to do any other further testing. I ended up having a stage three breast cancer. So if we can get this bill changed or passed, then that will um, give women a survival rate of even greater and also may give them the chance of not having chemo or radiation due to the, the tumor not being, you know, as large. Of course, the tumor is based on, you know, your stage of cancer. State Representative Dennis Powers is working to get this bill passed in Tennessee. Falls is founder of the local breast cancer support group, Pink Pals. La Folly City Council meets in its regular monthly meeting tonight at 6 o'clock at City Hall, and among the items on the agenda are promoting police officer Stephen Wallen to detective and hiring Matt Dopel 
as a full-time policeman. Public Works plans to officially terminate an employee this evening. In the Beer Board meeting, CVS Pharmacy is seeking approval to sell beer. WLAF Dwayne Wilder has the complete story for you. First thing tomorrow morning right here. In sports, Carnes outpaces the Cougars at Brown Archer Field Monday in a 13-4 final. Campbell next host Powell coming up Wednesday tomorrow the first pitch at 5 o'clock. April 1st kicked off distracted driving month in Tennessee and across the nation an effort to prevent some of the roughly 3,000 distracted driving deaths a year. Experts say the problem goes way beyond texting or talking while behind the wheel. Joel Fieldman with the Casey Feldman Foundation notes that three quarters of all distracted driving injuries and deaths are unrelated to cell phones. Some examples are reaching for a GPS searching your glove compartment, even an infant in the back of the car can distract you for a minute. There are just so many things that can be distracted driving. Feldman became an advocate for the issue after his 21-year-old daughter was struck and killed by a distracted driver in 2009. Feldman says remember Texting while driving in Tennessee is illegal. This Friday and Saturday, April 5th and 6th, the Friends of the La Follette Public Library will be conducting their annual spring book sale at the old Claiborne Oldsmobile and Cadillac building from 10 to 6. They will also have movies and magazines for sale. Go by and see them for a real bargain and the Tennessee Highway Patrol will be conducting a driver license safety checkpoint Saturday, April 6th at State Route 116 at Little Cove Creek Road. And that's the news for now. We'll be right back and take a look at the press release from the Sheriff's Department. And 13 people have been booked into the Campbell County Jail in the past 24 hours. Tyler R. Allen, age 20, of East Kentucky Avenue, La Follette, for theft of property under $500 and criminal trespassing. 28-year-old Patrick L. Brink of Chestnut Circle, La Follette, two counts of violation of probation. William Dillard Campbell, 55, of Robin Road, La Follette, for DUI and failure to exercise due care. 42-year-old Kenneth Ray Cordell of East Kentucky Avenue, La Follette, for possession of drug paraphernalia. Richard Roy Halcom, 37, of Oxford Lane, La Follette, for driving on a revoked or suspended license, second charge, and violation of the Tennessee financial law. Jerry Holder, age 66, of Hilltop Circle and Caraval, with a deadly weapon, and false imprisonment. 50-year-old Tammy Jo Jordan of Queener Road in Jacksboro on a capious bench warrant. LaDonna Chantel McIntosh, 27, of Lake City, an attachment for child support and violation of probation. 37-year-old Jeffrey Scott Meadows of West 4th Street, La Follette, for violation of probation. Timothy Lee Rowe, 46, of Williamsburg, was picked up and held for Walton County, Florida. 55-year-old Jerry Allen Talley of Pleasant Ridge Road, La Follette, second offense DUI, violation of the seatbelt law, and reckless driving. Jack Randall Underwood, 44, of Jackson Hollow Road, La Follette, driving while suspended, reckless driving, reckless endangerment and violation of the Tennessee financial law. And last today, Floyd Eugene Walden, 47 of East Chestnut Street, La Follette, 
for domestic violence by assault. And that's a look at the news. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a good evening. Enjoy this great weather and look forward to even greater weather coming up tomorrow. And we'll see you later tomorrow evening and bring you again the latest news. We sing happy birthday to you And may all your dreams come true Happy, happy birthday oh, oh, oh. This is your birthday song oh, oh, oh. Celebration all night long oh, oh, oh. May all you... Hey Big Josh with you on this Tuesday afternoon looking at our birthday and anniversary club and our birthday and anniversary club brought to you by WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. First looking at our birthdays today, Lois Bird turns 80 years old today. Happy birthday to you, Miss Lois Bird. And Brenda Miller is celebrating today. Brenda's a teacher up at, uh, a kindergarten teacher up at La Follette Elementary. Happy birthday to you, Brenda. Daniel Raines is celebrating today. Happy birthday to you, Daniel. And Robert Davis is celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday to Robert. And yesterday, Ashley Evans had a birthday. Happy birthday to you, Ashley. And our anniversaries for today, uh, David and Fonzie Evans are celebrating. Happy anniversary to Fonzie and David. And Bobby Ray and Rose Wilson have an anniversary today. Happy anniversary to Rose and Bobby Ray. And yesterday, Becky and Marvin Payne, they celebrated 14 years yesterday and happy anniversary to Marvin and Becky and we hope you all all have a great day and had a great day and listen now we have a drawing every Friday for our birthday and anniversary winners and the only way that you can qualify to be in the uh, to be in the drawing and have a chance to win a, a birthday dinner for two or an anniversary dinner for two from WLAF and Eastside Pizza as if we have your name in here, okay? I've taken up way too much time. See you tomorrow. Gospel.